In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create that cool little echo reverb effect you just heard at the end of that sequence. Here inside Premiere, I already have my clips and music down on the timeline. And the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do to create this effect is locate the spot in the music that you want this effect to start. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and double click right here. And I'll actually go ahead and make this a little bit bigger just to make sure that I can see the waveform audio really good. And that way it's easy for me to identify that spot. So I'm already kind of picked this out, but I'll show you where you, how you can scrub through and find that spot. So I'm gonna play it back. So as you can see, if I go ahead and make this a little bit bigger, this last little spot here where the bass hits and it makes that sound is where I want this effect to begin. So I've kind of just had my clip kind of fall off and you can hear that last little bit, but it doesn't have that echo reverb or anything like that yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here where that spot starts. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the razor tool and I'm gonna create a cut down there on the audio. And then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take my playhead to the basically the very end of where that sound is. And that right there is pretty good for me. I'm gonna create another cut. What I don't wanna do is include that next bass hit. Then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and grab the selection tool again, click on the rest of your music and go ahead and delete that. The next thing that I wanna do is take this area that I just cut and go ahead and drag that onto audio layer number two. This audio layer number two is gonna be strictly for the reverb echo effect. So next I'm gonna go up here to window, go down to audio track mixer and that should open up over here don't get it confused with the audio clip mixer this isn't what you're looking for you want to make sure that you have the audio track mixer selected and it'll bring this up here then what i want you to do is go up here to this little arrow and that's going to open up this here since we have this portion down here that we want to add the echo effect to on audio layer number two i need to make sure that i go down under audio layer number two and this is where i'm going to add this effect. So I'm gonna first go up here, click on this little drop down arrow, make sure you are on audio number two, which is this row right here. Go ahead and click this little down arrow, go down to reverb and then select studio reverb. Now nothing's really been done yet. We still have to dial in this effect. So go ahead and double click on studio reverb and it's gonna bring up this window right here. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna bring this decay up to as high as it can be. And then the wet, I wanna bring that up to 97. That's pretty good for me. And then go ahead and exit that out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and play it back. And the echo is actually not happening at this time. And that's because we have to tell Premiere how long we want the echo to go for. And we can do that by creating like a fake video. So what I'll do is go down here to new item and I'm just gonna grab a transparent video that way you can't see it. And then I'm gonna make sure these settings match up, press okay. And then I'm gonna click and I'm gonna drag that transparent video onto the very end of my original footage. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of cut this and go ahead and play it back now. And notice it goes and it stops right there at the very end of that transparent video. And I can go ahead and I can stretch this out and it would pretty much echo for the length of that whole transparent video. But I can go a step further and make it sound really good and kind of get it to fade out. And in order to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and drop down audio layer number one back to its original size and increase the size of audio layer number two. Stretch this down a little bit. And I'm gonna go over here to this show keyframes button. If you don't have it, right click, go down to customize and then just click and drag show keyframes down here and then press okay. Once you've done that, click on that show keyframes button, go down to track keyframes, go to volume, and it's gonna create this line down here on audio layer number two. And that line represents the volume for that specific audio layer. So what I'm gonna do is be making some keyframes on this line so that I can get that audio to fade out and make it sound good. So we're gonna go ahead, take the playhead to about right here and then I'm gonna go ahead and hold down command on the keyboard and click here to create the first keyframe. Then I'm gonna go down here a little further towards the end and click one more time holding down command and that's gonna create a second keyframe. Drag that second keyframe all the way down to the bottom which represents zero for your volume. And then I'm gonna go ahead and let it play back. And that sounds pretty good. I can actually play around with this to really make it sound the way that I want. Drag that out a little bit further and then play it back. And that sounds pretty good. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Edit like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.